But as we take a live look outside here in Pittsburgh, we are entering a potentially dangerous day for some people in our region. Yeah, today is a code orange air quality alert action day. And so, Mary, I know we talk about this from time to time in the summer months, but what does this really mean for people? Yeah, so we do have uh, that air quality warning, and really people just need to take it slow out there and just be careful, especially if you are in those sensitive groups. If you have heart or lung disease, the elderly and even those younger kids. And of course, you want to get out and play outside. It's 90 degrees, it's hot. And, you know, even if you're heading out to the pool today, just again, make sure that you're limiting that outdoor time. So this is actually for a lot of the region. It's only going until four o'clock. And with the heat and humidity, even tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised if we have another code orange day. So it's just unhealthy for some. Again, people with the lung heart disease, just limit that outdoor activity. So one way to do that is crank up the air conditioner. You're really going to need it today. Turn it on high temperatures today. Can make it to the low 90s, which would be the hottest day of the week. And not only that, it would be our fifth 90th degree day of the year. So we're actually starting off in the 70s already. This is well above average by nearly 10 degrees. We have clear skies and calm winds, so you also want to watch for some patchy fog to develop. So clear right now, 68 in Franklin, 66 Washington. We are getting some shower activity for areas off to the northwest. And with that heat and humidity through the afternoon, we could see a stray shower and even a thunderstorm pop up. So visibility right now, it is clear. And we've had a little bit more fog the past couple of days. So not too bad as you're waking up. Mostly sunny today, making a run for 90 degrees. And then overnight, another hot day on tap. We could feel as high as about 94, 95 degrees. Some areas even higher than that. That. And then by tomorrow, we have another shot of making it to 90 degrees. So, right now, we do have high pressure keeping us nice and quiet. All of that activity for showers and storms staying off to the north and off to the west. But we could see a stray shower and thunderstorm pop up later on into the afternoon and throughout the evening. One other thing with the air quality, especially as we head into the weekend, still going to be a nice weekend with a chance for an isolated storm, pretty much what we're dealing with now. But we have Saharan dust moving in, and that's going to really leave us with some beautiful sunsets, but also some poor air quality and some hazy skies. So we will have a shower and thunderstorm possible through the next couple of days. Very hit or miss. So a lot of us will be staying dry. So looking at tonight, 70 degrees, our seven-day forecast, 90s today, tomorrow, 89 Friday, a better chance for showers and storms. 88 Sunday, we'll have a few showers and storms around. And then by next week, we're finally going to cool down a bit. 85 Monday and 80 Tuesday.